I'm really excited because I'm introducing the six wines that I've chosen for the wine club case. So we'll start with this very interesting white, El Moye, and this is from um, Sherry Country. It's from the Carascal Pago. And this is Palomino Fino. Previously, these grapes would have been used to make sherry, but here they've been vinified as a white wine. It's a really interesting terroir, and the result is a, a richly textured, smooth, but characterful white. It's a really cracking wine. The second wine is the Mother Rock Cuepa Fontaine from Stompy in the Swartland. This is 2017 vintage. It's a Chenin Blanc from decomposed granite soils, and the vineyard was planted in 1984, and there have been no sulfites added to this wine. Yet, even at three years of age, this has got lovely focus. It's got lots of character. It's got powerful pear, apple, white peach flavors, but also a lovely acid line, and it's just a really compelling Chenin Blanc. This is Tetra Mythos Malagusia Nature 2019 from the Peloponnese in Greece. So this is made pretty naturally. There's a little bit of sulfites added. You know, when they've picked the grapes, they've crushed them and they've left the, the juice in contact with the skins for 30 hours to pick up some more character. And then they're pressed, fermented, and the result is a full flavored wine with lots of character and really interesting um, fruit and, and depth and richness all hemmed in with, with good acidity. Next, we're heading to Portugal and to the Alentejo region. It's um, in the south of Portugal, it's a warm region, but this is from the Porto Alegre sub-district, which is at altitude, and that tempers some of the heat. This wine is the Respiro Tinto. Um, it's 12% alcohol um, from 650 meters altitude. The producer is Cabezas de Roguengo. And what's fascinating about this is it's a field blend from very old vineyards. And so in the mix, we've got red varieties, but we've also got some white varieties. The result is a lighter styled red that's got freshness, it's got focus, it's got lovely fruit, it's got massive drinkability, but also a bit of complexity as well. Next up, we're heading to Galicia in Spain. Um, best known for its white wines, this is actually a red from the Ribeiro region, and it's Zanledo from Vinedas de Gabian, and it's a blend of two local red grape varieties, Caino Longo and Branchalau and it's just 12% alcohol, massive drinkability. It's quite a rich wine. It's got lovely um, juicy berry fruits, um, but there's finesse there and focus. Um, it's really, really delicious. And this wine is, it was a real surprise for me when I found this wine because it's Sangiovese from Romagna. Um, it's Motiliana, Ibula, and what's good about this? Well, Sangiovese can sometimes be a bit austere and, and grunty, but this has got such lovely fruit. It's really rich. It's, it's kind of liqueur-like, it's textured, but then there's good structure under it as well. It's a truly compelling wine and a real surprise for me. So this is a great find. So there we have it, six wines in the inaugural wine club case.